11. A storage battery of EMF 8 volt and internal resistance is a 0.5 ohm is being charged by 120 volt DC supply using a series of resistor of 15.5 ohm. What is the terminal voltage of the battery during charging? So, okay, so let us draw the diagram. So, a storage battery now we have 8 volt. So, this is you have and connected with the internal resistance that is a 0.5 ohm and this is the 8 volt and external for the charging here you have 120 volt series with 15.5 ohm and this is given 120 volt. So, first you have to find the current ok. So, what is the current? So, current will be because this is a 120. So, net volt net potential difference equal to both are in the opposite you can see here. So, for the why I made like this, this is very important because current will flow like here in the 120. This is the called external source to charge the charge the storage battery and charging it means current enter from the positive end to negative end that is a called charging. If the current flow from positive to negative it means called discharging. So, now you have understand. So, how to take net potential difference here 120 and this is the 8. So, the 120 minus 8 net EMF divided by total resistance 15.5 plus 0.5. So, this will be 112 and this is the 16. So, this will be 7 ampere. So, now we know the current. So, now we have to find the potential difference across the A and B. Okay. So, start from apply the Kirchhoff's law from A to B. So, V A and you are going plus to minus. Okay. So, here you have to write minus 8 minus I R. So, I is a given 7 into 0.5 this equal to V B. So, the V A minus V B this equal to 8 plus 7 by 7, 7 into 0.5 3.5. So, this will be 11.5 volt. Okay. So, this is the answer you have and always you write for the charging potential difference across the battery will be E plus I R. Okay. What is, what is the purpose of having the series resistance in the charging circuit? Because potential difference across this is not 120 volt, always less than 120 volt. So, the purpose of series resistance to the just draw the control, control the current drawn from the external supply. Other than if you do not have a R, so the current will be very high. So, always we put the external resistance to control the current in the circuit. Okay, let us go for the next. So, in a potential meter arrangement, a cell of EMF 1.25 volt gives a balance point 3.0 centimeter length of wire. If a cell is replaced by another cell and the balance point shift to 63 centimeter, what is the EMF of second? Okay. So, as you know here E1 is a given 1.2 volt okay. and the balance point is a 35. So, we have to write so the first E1 balance point is a L1. If the replace the cell E2 then balance point shift to L2 and as you know potentiometer gradient E is a directly proportional to L. So, directly you can write here E1 by E2 this equal to L1 by L2. So, E1 is given 1.25 volt, E2 you have to find out, L1 is a given 35 centimeter and this is a 63 centimeter. So, the E2 equal to 1.25 into 63 divided by 35. So, that equal to 2.25 volt. This is okay. So, now the last question of this. The number density of free electron in a copper conductor estimated in example 3.1 is a 8.5 10 to the power 28 meter cube per meter cube. How long does the electron take to drift one end of the wire 3 meter long to the other end? The area of the cross section is given, current carrying is a given. So, in this case you have to find the drift velocity because time is a length divided by drift velocity. The electron move in the conductor that is a called drift velocity. So, you know the formula drift velocity formula is current divided by n 
number of number density e is electron and area so the time taken to cross the 3 meter that is l l by v in d so l is a given here 3 divided by vd so first you need to calculate vd so the current is a given 3 ampere and n n is a given 8.5 into 10 to the power 28 electron as you know 1.6 10 to the power 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and area is a given 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so this is the you have vd so you can put here directly t by 3 and this is a 3 so all will come up so the 8.5 in, into 1.6 into 2 into 19 and 6 25 so here 10 to the power 28 is a given so this is 3 so 3 3 cancel if you multiply then it will come 27 so 27.2 into 10 to the power 3 so now you can write 2.72 into 10 to the power 4 uh, four second if you divide by 3600 then it will be the 7 hour and then 33 minute this is answer you have okay